everyone, it's Nick here again with AndroidUnite.com, and uh, today we are just going to take a look, a quick look actually, at uh, the Android 4.0 ICS ROM, uh, which was released uh, a few days ago by by Novo um, for the Novo 7 basic Android tablet. And uh, we just want to go over a few things with you and, and, and show you what works and what really doesn't. Now, one thing I'm going to mention before we get started is the fact that the beta ROM that I that I showed you guys a while ago um, that actually works a lot better than the official ROM which we're running here right now and as you can see in my downloads I'm actually gonna revert back to the uh, the beta one so and um, and I'll, I'll explain the reason why now um, just to list off the the apps that came with the official one are the uh, the, the uh, Amazon Kindle Facebook and Pandora those are the ones that come pre-installed, as as well as Spider Man and ES Expl or ES File Explorer and so on. So, but um, but we'll get to that shortly. Um, and another good thing is that this is the official ROM that actually it, you don't have to change the lead language settings to English because by default it's in English, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. But let's just go ahead and and just show you guys real quick that it is actually uh, Android 4.0. So um, you have here. Just tap that ICS ice cream sandwich, so which is cool, you know. That that was a nice little Easter egg. Um, so right here, Facebook app works great. Just log in and everything. Um, Pandora, you know, same thing works works well. Um, no no problems whatsoever. Amazon Kindle works great. Also, uh, Spider Man comes pre installed, works good um, as well. well. I'm just gonna want to show you. Um, I downloaded the latest of the uh, Android market and I'm just going to install it real quick and just so you guys can see that actually it installs but does not work okay so let this get installed real quick here and it might take a little bit but uh, just so you guys can see it uh, it won't work properly what it does is is when you open the app it'll it, it doesn't add an account and it doesn't recognize it so it'll either force close right away and just get out of it or it'll ask you for an account, and uh, see, you just keep clicking on it, and it'll just get right out of there. So that doesn't work. That's why I'm re going back to the um, the beta ICS ROM, which actually the Android market does work on there. So um, one other thing was the YouTube app does work. However, you cannot log in to your channel, which is sad. You know, try to add a, an account, but it doesn't work. But um, anything else, you know. We'll go ahead and this is my favorite video actually. I don't know if you've guys seen it, uh, the Nerd Rage, um, one of my favorite videos on YouTube. And as you can see, it plays back nice. It's really, really smooth. The YouTube uh, player that's right here actually it works fantastic. You know, you just gotta have a good enough connection speed. Unfortunately, mine right now isn't that great, um, being where I'm at right now. So uh, my Wi-Fi. So, but. Um, We'll just see if this loads up so you guys can see a little bit of video playback and um, and that sort of thing. So, But uh, apparently there was a problem. So, again, it might be my internet. So, But it was playing for me earlier and it was really cool. So, um, speaker on the back makes the, uh, the volume and the uh, everything else. See? Bright, colorful. And then you can skip around. You know, it still works fine. I'm going to go ahead and skip up a little bit, like right here, and hopefully it'll still load up, but um, we'll just test that out right now and see. Again, you know, it's all about the internet connection, and, and mine obviously isn't the best, so. And at least right now it's not. If I were to do this somewhere else, it would, but um, probably it's not going to do it. We're not going to waste all our time on that, so anyway. Um... So, you know, you used to have your everything that ICS has, the apps drawer, you know, and also the widgets, which you can move around and add on different things, and they all work just like the regular ones, you know. Um, I believe you can resize them. I don't know if you can or not. Uh, yes, you can. I just saw it. Oops. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, you can resize them right here. I'm going to go a little bit bigger, 
and they are resizable, just so you can just can see. If you saw my review on the Nexus or the uh, Galaxy Nexus for Verizon, you saw how I resized a lot of them too. So um, they all work, uh, work fine. Um, you have all the selection that you need. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing uh, to show you guys here. Um, as you can see, it speeds through pretty good. Uh, there's not really any lag except while using wa live wallpaper, but you know that's expected. So um, what time are we at? Okay. Um, now, one other thing I did want to show you was um, I'm actually going to go into. No, I don't. I have it in my backups. Um, now, this right here are apps that work on on the uh, MIPS processors because um, uh, the apps from the Android market are based off R R ARM processors or ARM processors that are, aren't compatible with the MIPS processor, which is what this tablet is running. So um, these are actually a collection of apps that um, that have uh, been modified to be able to work on this tablet. So um, MIPS, you have right here, YouTube, your Skype, and your Titanium backup. These are all eligible to work on this tablet as well. So um, SlideMe, the market right here, um, it's an alternative to the Android market. It's a third-party market, and the only thing... I've noticed that it works great for Honeycomb, but ICS, it's a totally different story. You, you're, it's hard to find an app that's going to work on there. So even though in my review I recommended using it, but that was for Honeycomb. This is ICS. It's going to be totally different. A lot of the developers haven't really optimized it for this tablet yet, um, especially with the OS it's running on. So um, yeah, you might going to run to a, a small problem right there. So um, it also comes pre-installed with Windows Live Messenger. Um, uh, documents to go, you know, I installed the Skype, you have your contacts, but again, it doesn't allow you to sign into your Google account. You can do Facebook or a different account, but not Google, so, which that is kind of disappointing, and that's one of the main reasons why I'm flashing back to the, um, the beta version of ICS, because this one is, it's, it's fine and all, all the kinks and stuff are worked out, but, uh, the beta version was a lot better, so... Um, and also, just so you guys know, Flash does not work yet. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's they just didn't get around to putting it in, or but I've tried to install it via third party and um, didn't get any luck with that. So um, websites pull up pretty good. We're just going to pull up our website right now, AndroidUnite.com, and um, just so you guys can see, you know, just just how it loads up and. And uh, multi-touch works and stuff. So um, let me just get out of these windows so my internet is a little faster. And hope it didn't just. Yeah, one of the problems I have with this also is it does disconnect from Wi-Fi a lot. You'll see a, it'll either close out completely or you'll see a message that pops up that says "cannot connect to the network," and um, that's pretty disappointing. I mean, it's it's not disappointing. It's more of a pain in the butt, really. To, um, to deal with so but you can see loads up you can slide around and while it's still loading you know it, you, you still got minor lag I mean um, not that great of performance wise but uh, still loading up but there we go see there's yeah there's actually a lot of lag during that so and I'm gonna go like this and yeah so there's a lot of lag in the browser and this is loaded up completely now and just so you guys can see, yeah, it lags pretty good. So, I mean, look. So, anyway. But um, I believe that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is just, you know, quick little walkthrough. If you guys got any questions at all, anything, please let us know. We'll be sure to answer them for you. I personally am not going to stay on this ROM. I'm going to go back to the, uh, the older beta version of ICS. Or I might as well just go back to Android 3.2 Honeycomb. Because that I found uh, worked out great because you can use a, an app called um, Magic Code and uh, you can be able to run ARM proce processor type games through MIPS processors and it's compatible. So I got things to install that like Netflix or, or Modern Combat 2 and, and things like that. So that's what I that's why I'm probably gonna go back to Honeycomb because I'm actually a pretty big gamer here. So but uh, anyway, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to Ask in the comments below, um, follow us on Twitter and 
on our, our Twitter account and ask us there or uh, our Google Plus page or whichever. So or even on our website. So anyway, we just want to thank you again for watching and um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again.